Hey everyone! In this tutorial, we'll be revisiting this shot and going over how to use linked libraries in Blender. I have two Blender files open right now, one for developing my building props and one main layout scene. In my building scene, I have three collections, each for a variant of a structure that I've blocked out so far. I keep each structure more or less within the zero origin to allow me to work along the global X, Y, and Z axes for easier editing. Here is my main scene, where everything will be laid out and lit for a shot. The scene is what I'll be rendering. You'll notice that in this scene, I have collection instances of each of the houses that were in my building scene. I did this by simply heading over to the file and then hitting link and then browsing over to my building scene and selecting the collections I wanted. With the link collections in my scene, I then just positioned them to build my shot. Within this main scene, I built over the initial blockouts of the structures to build a set, adding some little elements to give me a better sense of what the composition will look like. I also have the characters linked in the scene, and because I have a block out of my buildings, I was able to position them in the shot and determine what animations I would use from Mixamo to have them interact with the set elements. So the idea is we'll have this first guy emerging from the shadows in the background, then the other two come out for a dramatic entrance. Looks like some wayward traveler is about to have a really bad day. Um, but yeah, anyway, while I've been working on the main scene, let's pretend someone else had been developing the building assets. So back in the building scene, I've got some hidden collections here containing the assembled houses. I'll delete the block out mesh in my house collections and replace them with their corresponding final assemblies. Whether you work on the original linked object or replace it entirely doesn't matter since the main scene is looking at the collection that has these assets. So that makes even large changes uh, entirely possible. I'll save this scene and go back to my main file. I'll revert the scene and as you can see, we have our structures updated in the file. So let's go to rendered mode and I'm using Eevee here by the way. Uh, and now we've got our shot more or less ready. So the advantages of linking collections are pretty apparent at this point, but what if you wanted to quickly edit your linked collections at some point later on? It could be daunting to have to hunt down each linked Blender file, and it may not be a good idea to have more than one instance of Blender open most of the time. Luckily, there's an add-on native to Blender, and it's called Edit Linked Library. I'll go to my preferences and find it to make sure it's enabled. So let's say for some reason we need to get rid of the masks on our characters. With this add-on, I can now just select any of the link collections. And in the item panel to the right of my viewport, I can hit Edit Link Library at the bottom. With autosave check, this scene will retain any changes I made before doing this. And now my character file is open. And in my case, I have all my characters in this one file so I can make changes to each of them, and it will update in my main scene later on. I'll select all of the masks on my characters and move them into a new collection I'll name Bin, and I'll disable this collection. Now my characters are not wearing any masks. I'll hit save and in file external data, I'll do return to original file. And back in my main scene, you can see that the characters have updated. Alright, so that was a use case for linking libraries in Blender and using the Edit Link Libraries add-on. I hope you found this useful. Uh, see you next time.